Hi friends, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Monica and I make content about owning a small business, working nine to five, productivity, lifestyle, and all these fun things. And today I'm officially revealing to you all how much I make from YouTube. I never meant to keep this a secret necessarily. I am all about sharing numbers, sharing finances so that we can all help each other out. I found my own little version of success doing YouTube and I want to share that with you all to help encourage you if you were thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you just need that extra push. I'm also opening myself up to some criticism. If you would like to give me any sort of advice or critiques on how I can continue to grow my channel or do better. Put it down in the comments. We could have a nice little convo. Sorry, there's a there's a spider on the wall and I'm getting distracted. Do I kill it or do I just let it be? Okay, I'll let it be, but as long as it doesn't get closer to me. Anyway, I was inspired by a whole bunch of creators who recently came up on my homepage, all sharing their stats on YouTube AdSense, which is basically how we get paid through YouTube. And they were so open about their numbers and I just want to do the same. I'm by no means trying to brag. I am just sharing what I have experienced with YouTube AdSense. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start off going month by month with how much I earned since I initially got monetized. I got monetized in May 2022, which is when I officially reached 1,000 subscribers and also 4,000 watch hours. For some background, the types of videos I personally make are pop-up shop vlogs or vendor market vlogs, preparing inventory for my small business vlogs. I'll also do the occasional tutorial or like informational video on how I accomplish something related to my small business or the markets that I do. And since starting with that small business type content, I've started posting more about my personal life every now and then. Wedding planning now is something I'm currently posting about. I'll post a little bit about my nine to five experience and corporate job. I'm going to be holding my laptop down here, which is why I keep looking down. On May 11th, 2022, officially started making some pennies. So on May 12th, it calculates out that my how I put together a sustainable pop-up shop was the first video to actually start getting some traction and make some money. I made 41 cents <laughs> that first day. I made three cents from my my first somewhat unsuccessful pop-up shop experience video, and then 17 cents from I made sustainable candles and they sold out video. By the end of May 2022, I had made a total of $75.57. This was really awesome for me. It was way more than I expected to make my first month. I always thought like you start off making like a dollar your first month or like $5, but $75 was like crazy to me. However, in order to get your payout from YouTube, you need to make $100. So I didn't actually get paid the month of May 2022. I need to wait till the next month. Moving on to June 2022. We're going to go through this quick. My how I put together a sustainable pop shop video is popping off. And I think that video is bringing people to some of my other vlogs. In June 2022, my estimated revenue was $127.81 throughout that month. On top of the $75 I made in May, that was when I got my first payout from YouTube, which was so freaking exciting. Mind you, at this point, I still only had maybe 2,000 followers. I didn't know what to do with myself. I really didn't. That month I gained 139 subscribers and I had 9,660 views. Moving right along. July, we have this very interesting line graph. I had an estimated revenue of $120.66. These are the videos I posted in July. In July, I did get out all of my moving vlogs and those did okay on my channel. I thought they would do a lot better, but they did fine. But my how I put together a sustainable pop-up shop video is still doing really great and is still the best of all of my videos at this point so I wanted to get back into pop-ups so I can make more content like that. I gained 150 subscribers in July, got 11,216 views, and my estimated revenue was $120.66. Moving on to August, again I'm still slacking and putting out videos. I think this is a really good example of me not putting out too many videos in a month but I still made AdSense money from the previous videos I'd already posted from earlier that year. And this is when I kind of started to notice that YouTube can kind of be passive income where I just post a video and like forever I'll continue to make AdSense money off of it which is so cool of an idea. So I didn't post that much, but I still made $93.34. I gained 109 subscribers and I had 7,940 views. Now these stats are all lower. Still really awesome that I was able to do this while the chaos of moving and things like that. In August, I also posted my how to create the best vendor booth for a pop-up shop video, which to this day is my most successful video, but it didn't pop off in August. It took like a little while for that to pick up. But if you are a usual viewer, 
Let me know in the comments if this is the video you found me through because I feel like a large percentage of my subscribers came directly from this video. In September, I gained 241 subscribers. I had 17,279 views, which is a good amount compared to my subscribers. And then my estimated revenue was $164.93. I keep saying estimated revenue because that's the name of the column here. Um, <laughs> but that is actually the amount. Moving on to October, I kind of, as you can see, fluctuated with my dedication to posting on YouTube. I feel like I'm a lot better now over the past few months, but back in 2022 and even the beginning of 2023, I was posting kind of sporadically. I was still getting used to the fact that I was making AdSense money, but it wasn't motivating me to post more or to post higher quality videos or anything. I was still doing YouTube as a hobby and just whenever I wanted to, I didn't have a strict posting schedule or anything. So these numbers are gonna go up and down as the month goes on because that's just how I felt about YouTube at the time. In hindsight, I wish this is my fall drink my Starbucks pumpkin chai. In hindsight, I wish that I had focused on growing more, but also I know that's not what I wanted at the time, so it is what it is. Moving on to October, I posted these videos. I gained 441 subscribers, 23,178 views, which is a lot for my channel at least. And this is thanks to the how to create the best vendor booth for a pop-up shop video. This one's starting to, starting to pick up a little bit. And then my revenue was $302.86. We hit the 300s and I remember panicking. I was like, no way am I gonna reach 500. There's no way. Spoiler, I end up doing it eventually. So I feel like I should explain AdSense a little bit. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. But all of this revenue is coming from the ads that show up on my videos. So whether it be the video ads that pop up and you can skip them, or sometimes you can't skip them, or the little pop-ups that come up during my video and you can X them out if you want to. The ads that show up before my video starts and after my video ends, those all contribute to the revenue that I make. But basically that's just like how these numbers come about. November, I posted these videos. I got 476 new friends or subscribers. I had 24,520 views. Again, we're spiking and I'm excited about it. My revenue was $363.27, which I thought would be higher strictly because my monthly revenue was going higher and higher every month. So I just assumed after 300 would be like 400 this month and then 500 next month and that's how i thought you grow but obviously there are a lot of factors involved in this so finally in september the end of the year posted these videos and i got 300 subscribers exactly 18,395 views 166 dollars and 27 cents so my adsense was like at 300 something the month before and then it dipped down to 166 and that made me pretty upset but in the winter time for the life of me i cannot get myself to be as motivated as i am in the summertime and so i attribute this to that but this year we're gonna it's gonna be different okay i'm saying that more for me than for you anyway let's look at 2022 as a whole i did get monetized partway throughout the year in May. So this isn't counting like a full 365 days of being monetized. Looking at this chart, obviously the least I made in a day was $0 because I wasn't monetized until May um, 12th. And then the most I made was this really large peak right here, the unfiltered small business owner vlog, $14.78 that day. So actually not only was it the peak in November, it was also the peak throughout the whole year by a lot. I don't know what happened that day. Maybe everyone just watched it for some reason. It like came up on everyone's homepage. You just never know with these things. And then like a secondary peak was like around here. This video, how to create the best vendor booth for a pop-up shop. Again, that peaked like a few times throughout this year or since I've posted it. Um, and I think a lot of people have gotten some really useful information out of it. So they keep like going back to watch it. And then how I put together my most successful pop-up shop, that whole series, but specifically this video did really good. So in total in 2022, I gained 2,497 subscribers. I had 144,840 views. Dang. And my estimated revenue was $1,414.70. This is so surreal for me to even like see these numbers. Um, but also just imagine like I really didn't have that many followers at this point. I had less than 5,000 followers and I was making 
$1,414 like in a year, which is money I wouldn't have had. It's not like a significant amount where I can like quit my job and like do YouTube. Like, no, it's not at that point, but it is extra cash in my pocket for little things, for investing in a new computer in order to edit my videos or get a new camera, like little things like that. And I don't have to feel like I need to save up money from my corporate job to go and buy things for this hobby that I have. The hobby itself is making the money for me to go and invest back into it. And I just think that's so cool. Let's move on to 2023. We're now in the first official like calendar year where from January 1st to December 31st, I will be monetized. So I'm excited to see how the end of this year goes, but let me tell you about the first part of this year up until august i guess so we're pretty much 75 percent of the way through this year in january i was motivated to make a few videos but i don't think i actually got too many videos out i gained 402 subscribers i had 21,264 views and my revenue was 147 dollars and 16 cents again on the lower end of what i've been earning monthly but we're just getting started with the year. I was like vamping back up. This month, my reset my small business with me for 2023 chatty vlog did pretty well, made $4.07 on one of the peak days. And then you can see here the how to create the best vendor booth for a pop shop video is just like steadily being above like every single one of my other videos. Like it's just doing so well. I just need to make more content like that apparently. Moving on to February, I posted these videos. I gained 464 subscribers, 26,611 views, and I made $227.31. So we're, we're working back up. My views are pretty steady with the 20,000-ish views per month, which is pretty good, but I would obviously want to continue to grow that. I would consider my channel as like a slow but steady growth i would like it to like just be here and then like go like that like everyone else but that's not really how it works in real life let's move on to march march got crazy it really did i posted this video a week in my life as a small business owner and it did well like it had like a certain peak on march 16th it got to 27 dollars 25 in a singular day and then it like mellowed out but that's like a crazy amount for just one video on a singular day this video helped increase my monthly views and my how to create the best vendor booth for a pop shop video also got a ton of views this month it got 9563 views so all together, I gained 767 subscribers. I had 43,411 views, which is double previous months. And then my estimated revenue was $614.29, which again, significant increase. I think I started including more ads in my videos. And then I also think that because I had more videos on my channel at this point, People are finding me through my pop shop vlogs or that one really successful video and then they have so many more other ones to watch. Moving on to April, I was shook. I had a couple peaks here. The first pop shop 2023 prep video peaked at $47.03 in a singular day. And then even the subsequent days, I'm making like $18, $15, another $15 like in a single day of just having the video uploaded and then sitting there and letting people watch it. That was wild. And then I also have the first pop-up shop of the year um, prep part two. So I post these videos where I'm like prepping my inventory, I'm making candles, I'm making scrunchies, apparel, whatever. And this is one of those videos that I think is pretty average, but I guess people really liked it or the YouTube algorithm picked it up or something. I made $45.86 in a singular day for this, as well as my how to create the best vendor booth for pop shop uh, video is continuing to hover above like all my other ones. So I gained 951 subscribers this month, which was pretty great. 54,947 views, which is also great. And then my estimated revenue, $963.99. I really thought I was going to hit 1,000 this month and I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And then I got up to $963 and I was still like, no way like i attribute this to my consistency that i'm starting to get into around this time as i said the past few months i've started getting a little bit more consistent with my posting as well as the quality of my videos i feel like are a little bit better i have this bigger audience now or community that just like they're, they're very loyal and they come back and watch all my videos which is like the best thing you can imagine so i think april of this year 2023 is when everything just started coming together and i just started seeing like such great results i 
I don't even know. On to May of this year, I had a few peaks. Posted these videos, by the way. I don't think I'm saying that for every single month. Um, I'm sure editing me figured it out. Again, first pop-up shop of 2023 it peaked $46.60 on May 1st actually and then it kind of mellowed out. On May 15th, the let's prep for my favorite vendor market ever <laughs> video popped off at $55.21 in a singular day and this is not like counting how much this singular video made throughout the whole month. It's like on that specific day like May 24th, this is how much this one video made. So we made way more throughout the month. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get into the stats for me. Subscribers, I gained 1,341 subscribers. And I'm looking at the breakdown of which videos these subscribers came from. And 455 of those subscribers came from the How to Create the Best Vendor Booth at a pop-up shop video. For views, I had 80,624 views. And then 18,963 of those views came from that video. And my estimated revenue was $1,418.76. I couldn't believe it. $380.52 came from that successful video. In June, I posted these videos and I gained 898 subscribers. I had 68,150 views. So back when I had an average of like 20,000 views, I noticed that my revenue was obviously below a thousand and in like 200, 300 range. And now that I'm getting more views, my revenue is higher. So even though my subscriber count is still like low ish relative obviously but i gained basically 900 subscribers and i still had an estimated revenue of 1270 dollars and 50 cents again so crazy most of this coming from that one video i don't want to say most actually because 28.2 percent of that was from the how to create the best vendor booth video which was 358 dollars and then all the other videos pretty much contributed 7%, 6%, 5% of the rest of that income. Creating new products for my small business video made $69.45, which is crazy, um, on June 29th. Moving on to July, which was just last month, literally. I gained 1,010 subscribers. Views were at 78,671. And my revenue was 1,172 and 86 cents. So my revenue by no means has been increasing constantly. It did peak at that, what was it? Like 1,600, 1,400 or something like that. And then it's gone down a little bit. Obviously it has to do with the types of videos I'm posting. Also has to do with how much I'm posting, what my viewers want to watch. Have a few peaks. 48 hours of crafting made $32.35. Prepping inventory for a pop-up shop made $27.48 on July 21st. And what it's like talking to customers at a pop-up shop made $42.70 on July 28th. I knew all of these would do pretty well just because I'm getting more into the hang of making titles for videos that I think people will want to watch. My content is still relatively the same. It is the same, pretty much. It's still me vlogging. The informational stuff is like really nothing new. I'm just starting to advertise the content in a slightly different way, but I think I'm getting a lot better with the titles of my videos. Now let's move on to this month. It is August 26th when I'm filming this, so we have a few more days left before the end of the month, but I'll just give you, I'll give you some insight. So for August, so far I've posted these videos. I do plan on posting one or two more, probably just one more. Had some peaks, celebrating running a small business for four years. This one was a cute one. It made $28.79 on August 5th. And then on August 14th, uh, the revealing my new vendor market displays made $36.51. Again, I did start posting more small business related content, especially vendor market or like in-person pop-up shop content, because that's what I think my audience resonates with the most. However, I personally would love to do more personal vlogs or like informational vlogs because that's kind of what I'm into right now. The number of subscribers so far this month, 724, 59,233 views, and my estimated revenue so far is $962.80. Still right at the top to this day is how to create the best vendor booth for a pop-up shop, coming in at 23.8% of that full estimated revenue. Anyway, let's see the total for 2023. In total, 
I gain 6,559 subscribers. Brief note, I am still under 10,000 subscribers. So when you hear these numbers, this is all for a creator with less than 10,000 subscribers. So there is so much potential in having a small channel where you post what you want to post. You gain subscribers who resonate with you and who love talking to you in the comments. You don't have to worry about growing your channel to 100,000 subscribers in order to start feeling like it's worth it. So I really definitely recommend for you all to go for it if that's something you're thinking about doing. Okay, views for 2023. I got 432,911 views. So weird. So of those 400-ish thousand, I had 94,000 of those views come from the How to Create the Best Fender Booth video. And then 28,000 came from the 10 most common pop shop mistakes. Now the clock tower in my town is now going off. It is very loud. If the camera picks it up, I'm sorry, but I really want to reveal to you the total estimated revenue of 2023, which is another drum roll. $6,777.69. Wild. The year as a whole had a few peaks that are very obvious. We've already talked about these in the different months, but the first Pop Shop 2023 prep, $47, really, really took off. And remember, we still have September, October, November, December of 2023 to look forward to with videos that I'll be posting. I have so many cool ideas, especially really to fall and like the holiday season. The last number to look at is lifetime revenue. Here's another drum roll. <laughs> I created my YouTube channel for some reason, January 9th, 2011. Didn't actually start posting till 2020, but that's how far this tracks back. And since then, I have gained 9,615 subscribers, which is my current subscriber count to date, views. 604,835, wild. And my estimated revenue is $8,000. $8,192.39. Most of this is coming from ads at $8,007.97, and some of it's coming from YouTube Premium, which is $177.94. Ranking videos based on revenue looks very similar to all the other screens we've looked at, but just to be clear, 2100 of those dollars came from the How to Create the Best Vendor Booth at a pop shop video, and then everything else is down to the $400, $300, $200, um, per video, which considering how much I put into each video is so worth it. Like it pays off so well. I don't actually spend too much to make these videos because it's stuff I would already be spending to run my small business. But some months I won't get any sales for my small business, but knowing that my YouTube videos that are about my small business is still making money kind of helps the situation. But yeah, that's basically all I had for you guys. I wanted to do this video before I hit 10,000 subscribers because I just wanted to demonstrate how great YouTube can be even as a small channel. You shouldn't ever think that you need to wait years and years to achieve a certain amount of subscribers to make any sort of profit off of it. In the beginning, I was posting maybe once a week, if not twice a month and I still got to this point obviously I could have gotten here a lot quicker if I had really pushed myself and dedicated all my time to YouTube which is not something I personally wanted to do and I still don't really want to do if you have any advice for me as to how I can grow my channel things you think I'm doing wrong and simple fixes I can incorporate let me know in the comments I would love to hear all of your thoughts unless if you want to be unhelpful and just mean don't don't leave that in the comments leave that Leave that in your head. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions. I will see you in the next one. Bye.